Hello everybody. So I'm Luxflosion or Jesse Mac underscore seven. And I'm B2B slash Wackodak. So this is how we're gonna be doing the recordings from now on. Just dual commentaries. Because they're cool. Yeah, and we'll just be uploading them to like each other's channels. We're gonna be switching back and forth. So obviously this is my turn. So let's get started. You ready, Growlith? Mm, yes. That sounded like you had like bad gas. Well, I was gonna go. I was gonna say growl, then I was like, uh, then, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. So we've got the daycare here, and this is obviously supposed to be a pond. And there's like little Pokemon's playing next to it, but uh, there's something wrong with our server. How'd you get over the fence? <laughs> I flew. Um. So, yeah. Did you know? Quagsire new fly? <gasps> but Scyther doesn't. Oh. But, yeah, basically something's up with our server and it, like, freezes all of our water and, I don't know, it has something to do with, like, the biome or, I don't know. If anyone knows how to fix this, other than just, like, placing torches around it, please tell us. We're using Bucket. Bucket. So, hey, where are you? Let's I'm right take here. a look in here. I'm gonna go scout ahead. Okay. If you know what I'm... Yeah. So, here's the daycare where you can leave Pokemon, level them up, but... There's no old lady here. So. Like Geodudes. Yeah, I leave all my Geodudes in there. Me too. Me too. <clears throat> oh, and you're already over here at the daycare. Did you go in the daycare? Uh, yeah. We forgot to put a door on. <laughs> okay. Just pretend there's a door. <laughs> Everyone, there's a door. Okay, and there's a chest here that says hi. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be toys, but okay, I didn't so know what to put for a toy, so I just put the word hi. There's toys in there, and this is a window. See, the, the glowstone is supposed to be, like... Sunlight. Yeah. And these are just curtains and stuff. Okay. Very colorful, but no kids in here. Are you on the slide? Uh, no. Although I was a rebel and went up the wrong side of the slide. Ooh. Ooh. So, here's our sandbox with a sand bucket. I mean... Sand bucket! <laughs> shut up. With a red bucket, just for playing on the sand. And I'm gonna go down the slide. It's a bit bumpy. Uh, it got... It's not very smooth. The Arcanine used moves on it. Um, I'm just gonna be a rebel and jump over this bush. No, You take fallen damage. So, um, we got grass here. And we want to use wild grass, but we don't know how to spawn it. So... We're just gonna continue doing this. Yeah, unless, unless we figure out how to spawn it, if you guys can. If you guys can help us, that'd be really awesome. So, cliff here. Can't jump over that. Someone, last video we've had troubles with our audio, and we didn't know, well that's because our microphone is pretty far away from us, and we are using a blue snowball. So, um, I, I'm not, I forget the name of this cave, but it's just a little one. Um, uh, are you gonna look it up? Yep. Okay, so yeah, um, I guess Quagsire knows surf and fly now, because I'm just gonna go surfing around in this cave. And while he's looking up the name of it, I'm gonna go down into the basement. So as you may have noticed, we don't we're not putting the items anymore, like we're going to, but at the very end, just because we've already beaten the game on like well, we've already gotten like through the, this part of our game, so we can't really we don't really know for sure what item is in which unless we like look it up, so we're just gonna do that all at the end. This isn't route six. What? Um it says it's like no. This is not route six because yeah, that's Miss Trelton. Okay. Um. So, got more. You know, it's just it's mostly just cliffs down here. Nothing too exciting. I guess I put in one item, a dive ball. Pretty interesting. Don't worry about the stuff in my inventory. And these dirt blocks are just like rocks and stuff like that. So yeah, nothing you really care about. Um. Oh. Also, sorry to everyone about um mispronunciating Striden City. Neither of us had watched the anime yet, and so, and we kind of misread it, and both called it Stration. Striden or something like that. Well, yeah, we called it Stration, <coughs> but it's it's Striden, and thanks for uh, all letting us know. We know the pronunciation now. We'll be more caught up on our pronunciation as the anime goes along. Okay, so... Let's keep moving along here. Some wild grass. 
Gotta watch out for Blitzels and... And Growlithes. And Pydubs and... Well, no. Just no. Oh, why not? It's fifth gen. Sorry. So, as you can see, a nice frozen lake. It's not supposed to be frozen. And this is the tall grass for double battles, but you kind of don't have the right, like, we told you about the whole double grass thing, so. Yeah, see, it kind of screws up our water flow when it goes like this. Hey, let's surf over here. Oh, wait, you're, you're a fire type. Let uh, me get on your back. Ah! I'm leaving you. No! Okay, so more wild grass. Nothing exciting up here. There's a trainer over here and an HP up. I guess that's what that looks like. What's an HP up look like? I don't know. It's like green and blue and white. Oh, that looks beautiful. The items are, yeah, no. They're so beautiful. Um, more wild grass and the entrance to Nacreen City. Yay! I'll wait for you to catch up. Alright. You're a slow Growlithe. Um, people have been asking if this is going to be a download world, and once we're done, we're going to put it up for downloadness. So, here we are in Nacreen City. Got some warehouses, can't go in that one. But, we can go in here. And, probably just someone who moved in, because there's a girl in the middle, in the game, and there's all this different furniture. Sand is just cardboard boxes, and we got a little couch here. Trainer three two four one. I'm Canadian. To which province are you from? We're from Ontario. Okay, so let's keep going. So the floors here. I know that like they're not made of wood, but they're squarish. So we just kind of uh, use unrefined wood. So. And here's an actual apartment with an upstairs and everything. This is the concept of like most of the apartments here. So let's go down the stairs outside here. And then you've got the rest of these buildings are pretty much the same. You've seen the Poke Center. You that was the building I was just in, and this is the only one that's a bit different, but I mean nothing too exciting, right? Um, some people have been asking if we go outside. Um, <laughs> no, it's yucky. <laughs> I go outside to walk home from school. Or or if we go outside, we bring our laptops and play Minecraft. Pretty much. And Pokemon. Okay. So let's head up here. A couple more, you know, apartments, but we don't want to be showing you guys, like, we had a suggestion. We think it's... Like, right, we don't want to be showing you guys the same thing over and over again, so. Here we go. Oh, wait for the... There, it's rendering. Okay, so. Nacreen City Gym. Let's head inside. It's rendering really slowly on my computer. Sorry about this. Why is it being so weird? I don't know, but I'll just read from this anyways, so. I think this is a Dragonite. It's a, supposed to be a skeleton, but I mean, it's, it's as close as I could get. This is a skeletal specimen from a Pokemon that flew around the world. Okay, you want to read the next one? Um, the, it's a fossil that was protected by a very hard shell. Or just a big rock. Alright, I like big rocks. A meteor that has a space virus attached to it. Or another really big rock. Or a block of stoneness. An ancient round stone that was buried in the desert. Or nothing. There's not a single thing there. Alright, and then over here we have a plate with an unknown script carved into it. Or glass. And then. <laughs> Over here, Gotta show this. we have a beautiful mask. A mask that ancient people used to wear at festivals. We didn't know what to put for a mask, so Jesse decided to just put a sign with a face on it. You're welcome. It's beautiful. And then, over here... Oh, sorry. 
We are. <laughs> okay. We have bones that were once carried as weapons by a certain Pokemon or stone slabs. I'm guessing that'd be like a Cubone or like a Marowak. Marowak, but they're not extinct. But so. neither are Cubones. Then why are they here? Maybe you guys can answer that. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, just a little lounge, and finally the entrance to the actual gym. That was just the museum. Come on, let's go to <laughs> So, if anyone's really known anything about the anime, Lenore is quite a bit about knowledge. So, obviously, it's a bit of a test here at the beginning to try and get in to the gym. So. Let's go to the very first bookshelf. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. What's the first Pokemon you met in this gym? So, first you flick that switch because you read that one. Oh, whoops. Okay. So now we need to find the first Pokemon we met in this gym. Definitely wasn't a sweet, but it was a pat rat. So, click on that one. Um, and then it says. Flame burns inside its body, and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. Turkel. It's not Turkel. I'm assuming it's a train. So. Or a locomotive. <laughs> yes, the structure of a locomotive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? It's hoping not Pat Rat. To I'm pig. Not, it's not to pig. That'd be really, really gross. But they eat Magikarps. I, I, no, that's just gross. How about sweets? I think people eat sweets. And Magikarps. Sure. Well, There's no books on <clears throat> Magikarps. That makes me sad. Um, so from this bookshelf, move two forward, one to the left, two forward, one to the right. I might have put that wrong, but basically you end up here. Because, I don't know, that would make you go through the wall. Flick that switch, and voila! I know the bookshelf's supposed to move, but we're waiting for pistons. One point seven. And then they'll move. Bum, bum, bum. Go ahead. You can yeah. go first. So let's go see Lenora. Oh, she's not there. She's a torch. Torch chick. <laughs> get it? I get it. <laughs> oh, that was lame. Okay. That was cheesy. <laughs> yes. Nothing down here. Nothing too exciting. Just the aerial battle. All right, another question. Um, Buster Fiddlewig, do you guys are gonna copy it and make White Forest and Black City? So like, we're gonna have two files: one Black Forest and one White City, and then you guys can pick which one you want to download. Yeah, we're gonna do that because that's pretty. That's a good idea. Okay, and I think I'll ask a question, I mean, well, answer a question too. Um, hey, I'd like to help build the Unova region, can I help? Asked by Sky Warsman. So, you know, I know a lot of you guys are really eager to help us, and, you know, that's really nice of you and everything, but it's just, it's not something that we can really do. It's, you know, we have, it's a pretty small server load, so we can't have a lot of people on here without lag, and... Like, we did buy a server, so we're going to be working on this from now on, like, whenever we want. But it's just, it can't handle a lot of people on here, and also, you know, no offense or anything, but we can't really, like, trust everyone with just rights to the server, or else we're going to end up with, you know, problems. So, here's the cafe. Cafe Growlith. Yay! There's usually a waitress running back and forth here, but can't get behind the counter, which is a good thing. We'd steal Lock their money. Right. No. Some beautiful flowers, and that's it. We're done. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Please like the video and come check out our channels. And if this is your first time seeing Nimbuzz's videos, then subscribe to them too, and subscribe to us. My channel's Wackodak. Uh, mine's Lexplosion. And thanks.